let's see if it's even possible for me to review five whole X-Shot Ninja Blasters in five minutes. There's a lot of interesting features going on here, so I'm going to try my best to whittle down everything you need to know in this short time frame. I don't even know if it's possible, I haven't really practiced what I'm going to say, but we're just going to wing it and hope it turns out well. Let's try this again. Take two, starting now. All right, so let's talk about ranges and performance. All these blasters are definitely getting your X-Shot standard ranges or your elite nerf ranges, but they're not all equal. From my testing, I found that the no-res blaster surprisingly had the most consistent, powerful ranges out of all these blasters, and the weakest one to me seemed like the Justice. And it kind of makes sense since the Justice is one of their older blasters. I don't know how old it is compared to all of these these other ones, but um, yeah, it's not the newest one. The newest one is the Turbo Strike. And um, uh, what do I want to say? Darts. So all these blasters use X-Shot darts. They're almost all compatible with other types of darts, such, such as um, Elite darts, Elite Suction darts, AccuStrike darts. Unfortunately, the Quick Scope is not compatible with AccuStrike darts because the heads are a little too big, so when you try to fit them in the barrel, this uh, whole contraption won't fit up. And I guess I'll talk about this blaster first. So this blaster is full of different gimmicks. First, you have this um, kickback action in the stock that you also see in the X-Shot kickback. And um, that's all good and dandy, that's just for fun. And this is the weirdest stock ever because you don't actually use it as a stock. It's way too tiny for anything. So you're always gonna have the blast out here like a, like a shotgun, I guess. But anyways, this has four dart holders, so that's the most useful thing out of this stock. The scope is, it exists, you're not gonna use it, just, you can barely look through it, but aesthetically, it looks cool. Also, barrel breaking action. You can pretty much hit it down, there's no button or anything. You literally, you, you, break the barrel to open it, and that reveals a single barrel in there, which you can load up a dart, bring this back up, you have a shotgun prime, and you can fire a single dart. If we break this again, you can take off the scope, it also fits on the Justice, and these scopes also fit on this tactical rail, which is kind of neat. So, like I said, a lot of gimmicks going on here, but ranges are pretty good. It's a fun blaster to use, just like the X-Shot Vigilante, but that all depends on whether you like the gimmicks. If you don't, or if you do, then that will really depend on you. But uh, that's that blaster. Let's talk about uh, the Turbo Strike, which is the latest blaster in the whole X-Shot XL series. So this is essentially a Turbo Fire. I think I said Turbo Strike. Yeah, this is a Turbo Strike. So anyways, um, you have this pop-up sight here, kind of neat, doesn't do anything. You have this Maverick-esque uh, top prime. For the most part, it's it's pretty good. And you also have Slam Fire, which is, this is the first blaster with Slam Fire, which is amazing. You have a 20 dart rotating drum, and it also has eight individual dart holders in there if you need it, uh, uh, if you need it there. Um, once you prime the blaster, uh, you can't move the barrel, but what I found is, if you hold down this trigger and just pull halfway, you can rotate the barrel like that. Kind of interesting. Overall, very practical blaster, high capacity. This is a lot of dead space, but if you're a modder, you could easily just chop that off if you don't want it. Next up, Micro, a very classic X-Shot blaster, the tiniest X-Shot blaster out there. Single dart holder up top, single barrel. You pull back this thing and you fire it. Pocket size, it's good in that sense, but a lot of darts do fishtail just with the whole nature of the barrel, so that's the one thing I really don't like about this blaster, but overall, very good micro-sized blaster. You got the ranges for sure. The No-Res, this one is extremely comfortable. I love the grip and the trigger. Uh, has a four dart auto rotating barrel. How am I doing on time? I got, oh my God, a minute and a half. Okay, uh, yeah, so four, <laughs> I'm freaking out now. You have four um, barrels. I keep saying that, okay, and, and it works well, all right? It's, it's a good compromise between this blaster, which I think is way too tiny and not that practical, and a Tech 3, and this is kind of the next step up. So great blaster, really powerful ranges. I love that about it. All right, big boy, the Justice. So what I said originally was uh, the ranges don't seem as as powerful as the other ones. You're still getting that standard X-Shot range, but still it's not the, the most impressive. But it does come with a lot of attachments, which is impressive, and it's really a feat and triumph for what they're trying to do here. Uh, a lot of them are just for looks, but you have the dart holders, which are super handy. I love the stock. It's very sturdy, easy to use. You got dart holders in here. It holds the clips. The clips hold 10 darts each, and they work, they work all right. I mean, like, the whole system is great. It, there's really no big flaws in it. It's just kind of a pain in the ass to get this 
uh, lined up the way that you want it to, especially for that first firing dart. Um, stocks, I mean, the, the barrels, they're there, they look nice, lots of tactical rails, you can do all sorts of combos. How much time do I got left? 20 seconds, bipod's cool. Overall, this is a really fun shotgun, shotgun blaster. It's not as practical as some of the other stuff, especially with this clip thing, but hey, you know, it works. And this is kind of like the Nerf modulus, except the X-Shot version of that. And I really can't wait to see what else they do with it. Um, what else can I say about this? A lot of different combos. Are we done? We are done. I feel like that was a complete mess. I guess we'll find out in post. I have to say, I think this whole X-Shot Ninja collaboration is a success. These colors, these designs are absolutely amazing, perfectly balanced as all things should be. The darts look great. Same can be said about these high quality dog tags. And the thing is, even if you don't care about Ninja or if you're neutral to Ninja like I am, I don't watch a lot of streamers, you can still appreciate how good these blasters are. Thank you Aksha and Zuru for sending these blasters out to me early. And if you're a consumer, you want to get one of these, well, just to reiterate, they're coming out mid-May as Target exclusives in the US. And if you're outside of the US, then you can see these blasters on store shelves in June. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.